Although there is media pluralism in the country, there is also an increasing concentration of the media in few hands. The state of the Guinean Media Report finds this as a major threat to media freedom and democracy. Those whose conduct are to be checked by the media are rather getting considerable power and influence over the media. With every alternation in power comes political influences who want to obtain media authorization in order to increase their sphere of influence. So of concern is the politicization in the media, in media ownership, and the fact that it's opaque, it's not transparent. The inadequacies of the current structure at the National Communications Authority, NCA, have been blamed for this situation. The report says governments grant frequency authorizations to their sympathizers when in power. And these political faces behind some of the media ownership leave room for partisan actors to control public discourse to a larger extent. The lacuna has been occasioned because we don't have a broadcasting law. So we, we do have a problem. So we know that young people are susceptible to content that they consume. We know that false news and disinformation has become an epidemic. So there needs to be a, a, a sort of a, a framework that will help us address some of these issues and mitigate it. Many believe the lack of identities behind some media organizations raises legitimate conflict of interest concerns. It is easy for us to mention, oh, but we know this person owns media, we know this person owns media. Those are mostly the Accra-based media, the ones who are really making a lot of noise. If you take the whole country and the fact that, for instance, there are over 500 radio stations on air, then we really don't know the people behind the radio stations. This is why in uh, 2016 we put together the LI2224, which is the Content Standards and Electronic Communication. Our view is that when we put the law out, a lot of people didn't understand. There's, gradually, there's understanding emerging about the need to address these issues. So what we need to do is to go back to the drawing board. Currently, there is a move by the Registrar General's Department to better clarify the registration of companies and to have their directors or managers individually listed. This may help to ensure transparency and credibility. Christian Yali. TV3 News, Accra.